Hey everyone, this is Lisa and Nancy with Big Blend Radio. And today uh, on our Love Your Parks tour, we're in Greeley, Colorado. And we are sitting in this monster museum. It's not monsters, but it's massive As when I say monster. Mm. This, is, this is big, right? It's, it's huge. It's huge and it's fun. It is the Colorado Model Railroad Museum, and we have Michelle Campima with us. Hey, how are you? Hey, thanks for having me. This is a third interview now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and it started with the monsters, actually. Yes, so yeah, I we say went that. to the monsters first. Yeah, we started with the monsters, uh, talking about Monster Days in Greeley. Uh, it's an anti-bullying campaign and an event, and yeah. everyone dresses as monsters and learn not to be a monster. <laughs> so that's really cool. But this museum, um, it. It's a big one. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about the start of it and just give everybody an, an idea of how big it is. Okay, so let me just describe the museum. Mm -hmm. So the Colorado Model Railroad Museum houses America's largest, and it's going to be a long sentence, single track prototypical HO scale model railroad. What that means is... <laughs> Can, I'm going to say that after a glass of wine and see. <laughs> what that means is we have the largest layout of its kind on the planet in this building. So it's 5,500 square feet of beautiful mountain scenery. Mm -hmm. It is a fully functional railroad and when we say the word prototypical we mean it works exactly like the real world. I showed you we have a dispatcher who actually sits in a dispatcher's office like the real world operates and controls the switches and the locomotive engineers have to communicate via radio with the dispatcher to get clearance to enter their sections of track and and so the whole thing is very alive. Very, You get sound in here as much as you get visual and so, um, so, so it's just a giant model railroad, but it's not your grandpa's model railroad that was in a basement. It's quite different. So, how many how many trains can you run at one time? Yeah. So our layout is so large that we can put 14 to 18, 50 to 100 car trains on it at any wow. time and have them pass each other in sightings because we have a single track. So trains come from the east and the west at the same time and have to pass each other on the layout. So the dispatcher has a big puzzle for all the trains that come out so that we don't have any accidents. <laughs> So it, it's really neat. It's very, very alive. It's very much a, a living thing when it's operating. So I know because you've got uh, firefighters actually taking out a fire in buildings. <laughs> yeah. You've got forest mm -hmm. fire. You've got the woman with her chickens. We do. Yes. We have chickens that <laughs> little tiny, move. tiny chickens. So this is HO scale and it's just called HO. I'm not really sure why, but it's one to 87. So if you shrunk yourself in half 87 times, you would be about a half an inch tall and you could live in this world. Can you do that to my stomach? <laughs> oh my gosh, and my thighs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly. start with the butt. I, I know, I know. I, I, do, know. I do have a mini me out there on the layout. I forgot to show you that, oh, but I moved funny. myself. I'm going to the movies right now, but sometimes I'm at the taco truck or I might be at the liquor store if it's been a hard day. But <laughs> it's kind of fun to move my little mini me around. Oh, that is so cool. It is so much fun. Um, I know kids, you've got a lot, you had a lot of kids running around here today. We did. Well, today was an event of about dinosaurs. Dinosaur day. So yeah, if people are like, why trains and dinosaurs? And we'll have kids come in. This is the Dinosaur Train Museum. We love that. Um, it goes back to the history of model railroading in this region. And people mm. who did build layouts in their homes, in their basements, they would always hide a dinosaur. So when people come to visit, you always look for the dinosaur. It's kind of a traditional thing among modelers here. So when Dave Trussell built this massive monster ultimate layout, he decided to do a dinosaur hunt for kids. So there are at least 10 dinosaurs out there. And if you find five, we give you a little dinosaur to take home with you. And so kids leave here, they come in, they see trains, they love it, but they do go home with a dinosaur. So that's cool. cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So this is for kids, but it's also for adults. It is. And uh, are you seeing all ages and are you seeing women enjoy it too? Yeah. Okay. So I have to tell you, when I started here, mm -hmm. I was like, I better study up on old guys. <laughs> <laughs> And is there a book in the library for that? that no, but what I found was the people that visit here are multi-generational. Mm -hmm. It's almost a third, a third, a third. Seniors, adults, and kids because it's grandma and grandpa and their kids and their grandkids coming together for a family experience. Oh, cool. And so there's something here for every age. It, it's really been a journey for us because Dave, when he built this place, he built it to, to be the ultimate model railroad to just to build it. He didn't have a plan for it to be a museum. He kind of thought that people might want to come and like model railroaders would come and operate on it. But the general public mm. came in and went, wow, this is a miniature world and this is phenomenal. Mm. And so it's really neat that you come in and you're immersed into this miniature world. You're really a part of it. It's kind of mind blowing. I'm just standing there <laughs> looking at it all I'm like, wow. And then no matter where you walk, you see 10 things at once, 10 different yes. things happening. Mm. Things are moving. 
It's it's just I can see where kids are just like wow. Do you do any kind of programs that educate the public about what's happening? Because you gave us this awesome tour, and I'm like I didn't know any <laughs> of this stuff, you know. So you you so learn the beauty history of it. and yeah. science and everything. I think one of the things that makes our visitor experience excellent is our volunteers that are here. So mm-hmm. each train has a locomotive engineer. He just doesn't fit in the train, so he walks next to the train. Yeah, right. <laughs> they have been trained to speak to people and talk to people and. Explain what we're doing so when you come here you don't just look at trains and walk out you interact with people everywhere that you go and you can ask those questions mm-hmm. um, I, I told you that sometimes our volunteers bring a personal train that they own they love to tell the story of their trains so if someone walks up they'll be like do you know anything about the Missouri River or you know whatever the the name mm-hmm. of the train is the UP uh, Cheyenne Frontier Days train or uh, Union Pacific mm-hmm. tank train or and so they're educating the public too is such a such an interactive experience and then also you have a big caboose here and it's wooden mm-hmm. and I never thought of it being wooden. Yeah, so our caboose is one of our most loved artifacts and our oldest artifact. Well, I think. It was built in 1919 and she turns 100 this year <laughs> in wow. 2019, which is amazing. Um, wooden cabooses, you know, they, they went away because they could catch fire so easily. But this one's been extremely preserved. It ran on the Colorado and Southern and her first job when she was built in 1919 was running beer from Coors to Denver. So. Well, Oh, good job. for her. <laughs> and so they're all. Yeah, does she have a name? Yeah, yeah her name's 10583. Oh, 10583. <laughs> okay, all right. But that, that brings up something, too, because you've got here's, you can watch how things are going. You also have the toy train yes. displays, uh-huh. which are fun. And, you know, it's, it's trains, 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 but you also have a model display, which is like this beautiful Christmas village with people we skiing. We do. So we wanted to encompass all aspects of modeling. Mm. You know, from a kid, the first modeling thing you ever touches play-doh yeah right so you model mm-hmm. with play-doh is what you're remodeling yeah. then you go to legos yeah right then mm-hmm. you might grow to trains but mm-hmm. something that people didn't think about is that at christmas time a lot of women get out of christmas village and there's a train in it yeah <laughs> and so we have a very large collection of department 56 christmas villages that was donated by the harris family and we have every piece ever mm-hmm. made and we with that display we tell the story of christmas and trains and yes. women that model <laughs> and the women so the women do that uh-huh. and you're saying that you see a lot of um, young girls uh, wanting to do like the actual background like the guy the boys want to play with the trains and then the girls, girls they want to the make scenery. the dioramas yeah. and the scenery so about three years ago we went to our local public school we have a school mm-hmm. of innovation two blocks away and we said can we try modeling we'd, we'd like to try modeling with the kids do you think they like it and they mm-hmm. said yeah so we taught every day for 12 weeks and we built dioramas with kids cool. and we found that the girls loved it every bit as much as the boys and they loved building the scenes they they were creating their world and they were like i need a tree here and this hill's gonna go up over oh, here yeah. and i, and I, I need that. a creek yeah. coming down the hillside yeah. and now i need to put Absolutely. some deer in there i yep. want some wildflowers <laughs> exactly right, right. Yep. and and we taught them how to create nature and, and nature's not perfect so there's no wrong answer and these kids succeed because they build it the way they feel nature looks mm. and it's just That's amazing cool. to see them come alive and kids feel like they didn't think they could build something that looked that real Mm. but you really can yeah and it's so fun to watch them just connect with that Mm. (laughs) and then at the same time the history part that's the other thing i think you've got Mm. other uh displays you've got uh like the pullman uh you know the pullman towels uh, pullman towels (laughs) you have you know lanterns and keys and so many things so you've got the history but I feel like when when we walk through, we're actually learning the history of America through the railroad because r- the rails. It is the history. Changed. It changed it everything. Is. It right. is. I mean, when the Transcontinental Railroad was completed, which happened in mm-hmm. 150 years ago this year, uh-huh. that changed our nation. Yeah. <clears throat> it wow. settled the West, created commerce, mm-hmm. created industry, and today it's still moving our industries around. Wow. So when we do our field trip programs with schools, we talk about economy and how products move on rail, and we show that with our logging industry here. We have, we log the trees at the top of the mountain, they go mm-hmm. to the sawmill, then that product is taken to our warehouse or yard where we do some either some finishing work or we just redistribute it, and then we we actually export our products in our our mm. Coos Bay, Oregon area. So wow, <laughs> wow, this is amazing! It is yeah. amazing. So you have groups come here. I know a lot of we travelers do. come through here. Do you get uh, people from different countries that are into 
you know, modeling and, and the model railroad. We do, we do. We get a, we've had people from all over this planet come here. Um, we've been featured on the cover of every model railroading magazine that's published. No, I so, bet. So, so we've become kind of mecca for model railroaders. Mm -hmm. So there's that market of people that model. But we're also becoming a family attraction where people want to bring their kids and their families. It's definitely the place you bring your out-of-town guests, too. And, and not only that, it's people from Denver to Cheyenne who bring their out-of-town guests. Okay, yeah. So we're very mm -hmm. regional. Our volunteers come from Colorado Springs and Southern Colorado all the way to Rollins, Wyoming, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Oh, wow. Our Monday team of people who just mm -hmm. clean this layout, they're headed by a man from Laramie, Wyoming, who drives wow. down here every Monday just to clean the layout. How many volunteers wow. do you have? We have active about 100 right now. Um, 150. Wow. In the 10 years that we've been open, we've accumulated almost 300,000 volunteer hours. Wow. Now that's a big train. Comes a train. That's, that's the real train. That's that is the Union train. Pacific going from Cheyenne to Denver. <laughs> if you're right here next to the train. <laughs> you're right, right next to the train. Right next to the depot, which <laughs> yes. is which is the chamber <laughs> office and the visitor center. So uh -huh. that's perfect. Now, what about groups coming in? Do you get bus groups and things like we that? We do. Yeah, we do a lot of group tours, and um, we can do buses. We get RV clubs that travel together that come oh, in. Cool. Oh, we wow. do get a lot of um, reunions. Family reunions come here sometimes. You know, and so do you do kind like of actually groups. events here if somebody we wants do. to have you, a, you a can rent this facility. Wedding? Yeah, we can stay open later, open earlier. And we're only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday during the winter time. So mm -hmm. we have all those weekdays that we can do stuff. And um, Sundays, you know, mm -hmm. we can do Saturday evenings. But we have a warehouse to the south of us that was the old Burlington Northern Railroad warehouse. It's pretty mm -hmm. rustic, but we can do picnics in there and dinners. It's really fun because you're out by the real trains going by. And we actually have a lot of artifacts. I didn't show you today, but we have a lot of railroad mm -hmm. artifacts. We have pump cars and actual wow. actual rail cars in there. Wow. Wow. Well, and this all came so, from, tell us how Dave started and who Dave was, because he, he was a newspaper yeah. man, So right? the visionary behind all of this, uh -huh. it was David Trussell is uh -huh. his name, and he, he was a man who, um, his father was in the army and died in the Battle of the Bulge, so he was raised oh, wow. by his grandparents, and his, gran his grandfather was a station master in Shelbina, Missouri. So he was at the train depot every day, and they'd mm -hmm. pop him on the train, and he'd ride the trains back and forth, so he grew up cool. just loving trains, yeah. became a modeler, and um, mm -hmm. he was a newspaper publisher. So, the, so throughout his life, he bought newspapers and accumulated and moved around, mm -hmm. constantly making new models and traveling models. And then at the end of his career, in the late 90s, he moved to Greeley because the Greeley Tribune was one of his newspapers. He had 26 oh, okay. publications. Mm -hmm. One was the Greeley Tribune. Moved here to manage that as his last paper before he retired, fell in love with our community, mm -hmm. decided to build his dream here. He'd always had a dream to build the ultimate model railroad. There was a book written by Lynn Westcott called 100, 101 Track Plan. And there's a page in there that says, if I had a million dollars, I could build the ultimate model railroad. And Dave was challenged by that article. And he tore it out and carried it with him his whole life and mm -hmm. uh, decided to build his ultimate model railroad. And uh, so that's what we have here in Greeley. He built it here in Greeley. It's really a gift to our community. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing here. So really do you have is. a website so people can look you up? Yeah, it's cmrm.org for Colorado Model Railroad Museum. cmrm.org. Awesome, awesome. Cool. So everybody got to come check it out because it oh, is yeah. cool. It's yeah, cool. This one. Come see us. And yeah, we're yeah. super, we're very uh, mom and pop style here. Yeah, it's I relaxed, guess. it's fun yeah. and chilled we're out. We're all about Americana and family and just come in and be a part of our family and find some joy. That's our favorite mm. thing is to ask people if they found some joy here today because joy is in our mission statement. That's awesome. <laughs> people need joy. You people know? need joy in their lives and that's what we provide. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.